David Levy's with me in the studio this afternoon from Affinity Networks. David, good afternoon. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. First off, give us a bit of an introduction to Affinity Networks. Tell me a bit about your technology. Uh, so Affinity Network is a 14 years old uh, uh, company. Uh, we have designed a network processing technology, uh, a unique one which is covered by multiple patents. Uh, so essentially, we uh, deliver a firmware that fits into a programmable logic device, mm -hmm. uh, which enable us to deliver to our customers a networking solution uh, and, and meet the market needs uh, easily and faster uh, and, uh, compared to kind of silicon rigid element that you cannot change and cost a lot of money to do. Essentially, what is network processing? Network processing is the element that fits into the, that sits in the infrastructure, the internet infrastructure, and manage the flows that runs between users, sites, peer-to-peer, -peer, voice, video, and, and uh, actually the actual LLF part of the features we, we do, the functionality that this element do is actually inspect all the packet that come, the flow that comes in path through this element. This is the, you know, the kind of uh, managing like the partner of, 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 the, of the infrastructure, okay? Uh, so it's eliminate traffic jam on the network, prioritize between different kind of flow, different kind of customers, um, and doing kind of fil filtering of traffic, analyze traffic that comes of flows that need okay. to come uh, supporting appliances like firewall security. And actually it sits on the earth of any kind of switches and routers, which has been part of the infrastructure of the network, either in the mobile infrastructure, in the broadband infrastructure, and in the, uh, any kind of uh, enterprise access or virtual network uh, that is being used for connectivity between corporates, so offices. At the risk of oversimplifying it, the main objective here is it to speed up the process, save time, save money. It's it's uh, it's simply sits on the infrastructure. Without this kind of element, you cannot actually pass traffic. Right. Okay. Uh, the issue is how you can be responsive faster to the market need. If you don't have specific protocol, specific feature, or whatever, the other you know vendors or in the world. What they need to do, they need to do run up into a new process of doing another device, another silicon element, which costs fortune of tens of million dollars in doing a new kind of product. We just need to program the device and deliver the right feature, the right functionality that even can be deployed by sending a file to the right device through the right. net into the uh, device installed in, in the field, in the network. So this is basically uh, uh, what is happening. So we we deployed into the network, means into more than half a million platform over the years. Um, and this kind of uh, way of delivering solution is now being picked up uh, recently in the last year by the major uh, tech uh, companies like Intel, Microsoft, Amazon, and, and other. They all want to see a solution that can be downloaded into programmable device versus being stacked by proprietary hardware, proprietary silicon that cannot be changed and, and, and they need to be kind of locked in by specific vendor solution or whatever. So this is what the market, the market is changing. The market who goes to, to, to believe means in, in exactly what we envisioned and, uh, uh, 14 years ago. So the market's changing, there's big opportunities. In terms of what you're doing at the moment, give us an example of some of the companies that you're working with now. I cannot uh, give you the names, it's, uh, no, everything no. Is, a, is a kind of a confidential and uh, whatever. Part of uh, our uh, customers are uh, public on, on the, our website, part of them cannot be, but essentially we uh, deliver our technology into OEMs, into manufacturers of telecom equipment, networking equipment like switches, routers, and, and whatever. And, uh, and these kind of, uh, these, the, the, those companies actually deliver the, the product, install, and provide the service to the 
operator service provider like the BT of the world and Verizon, AT&T or whatever. As you said at the start, you've been around 14 years, but you IPO'd in London this year. Yeah. Why did you choose to do it now? Um, this is because of the major change that happened in, in the market. It means if you know we we you know delivered our solution to kind of niche uh, um, uh, appliances uh, where our solution was better than what was available in the other you know competitor silicon vendors or whatever, and uh, it was good. But when the market change and say okay we want to use this programmable logic in the main network in the cloud in the cloud is will be built based on programmable logic and we have the technology which is covered by patent we need to be strong in order to be strong we went into the ipo we want to demonstrate to all our potential big guys big customers that we have enough funding to support them for long term, and this is why we went into the IPO. I can tell you're extremely passionate about the technology. I am, yeah, of course. And you're looking forward to the opportunities over the next couple of years? Yeah, yeah, I can tell you that uh, following the IPO, we met uh, multiple operators and uh, customers, they all really uh, excited uh, from, you know, from what we have, uh, from what we can deliver to their uh, network and uh, obviously we are uh, selecting where we go to do kind of a um, proof of concept or whatever but it's it's kind of uh, picking up and uh, the market understand the value and um, yeah I uh, this is going to be big it's going to be big and you've got customers around the world at the moment too don't you yeah of course we are selling into uh, obviously Europe um, and the US, uh, India, uh, Asia Pacific. We just recruited uh, a new uh, VP sales for, to lead all the sales in uh, Asia Pacific and uh, we have rep in Taiwan and China and uh, building now the, the, the infrastructure in Korea and Japan uh, and because we have tractions, we have customers from all mm -hmm. that wants uh, to hear from us wants to work with us and we need the infrastructure to to build their the revenue there all looks good and uh, I'm excited and you recently uh, joined the Intel corporations network builders program as well yes is that correct so that's a big endorsement for what you're up to you know this is just kind of uh, of the beginning they it means that Intel and understand the value of what we can offer to the virtualization uh, of a world what's in virtualization means that you actually instead of using the hardware you use software that runs on the server this is essentially virtualization okay mm -hmm. and they understand uh, the value and uh, so this is kind of endorsement to to our uh, you know contribution to the industry obviously uh, with the core marketing and and, 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 and the core uh, go to market uh, with Intel we plan to cooperate uh, with them in order to accelerate uh, uh, the business both for eternity and for Intel. Very good. That's brilliant, David. Look, nice to see you. Thanks very much. Thank you.